Now let's actually set up and solve this problem. The area under the curve y equals 3 sine x from 0 to 2 is rotated about the y-axis. Find the volume of the solid formed by using cylindrical shells. So the first thing we need to do is graph this curve y equals 3 sine x from 0 to 2. And that's x equals 0 to x equals 2. So mark your x-axis off uh, in units up to 2 and you can probably see that the y-axis needs to go up to 3 because this is a sinusoid with an amplitude of 3. And then let's draw on the curve, the 3 sine x curve from 0 to 2. And it's going to peak here at, at pi over 2, a little bit over 1.5. And it's a sinusoid, so it's going to peak right there and dip back down. And something like that. It's going to go up here to x equals 2. And, and we're going to be taking this area, it says the area under the curve, and rotating it about the y-axis to form a solid. And instead of Instead of drawing in the entire solid, sometimes it's easier just to draw in a single shell. So let's pick a point. It could be any point. Let's just pick a point here. We'll call it x, y. It has some x value and some y value. And the relationship between the x value and the y value is determined by this function. And let's imagine taking a little thin strip right here. That would be width dx. And let's imagine rotating that to form a little cylindrical shell, like that, like that. And I'll draw this with some actual thickness, even though we're considering it to be infinitely thin. So we've drawn this little vertical strip here of width dx, and we've rotated that around the y-axis to form a cylindrical shell that has a thickness of dx. And that shell has a certain volume and we'll call that dv, an infinitely small volume. And the sum of all the little dvs will be the total volume. So we can write volume is equal to the sum of all the little tiny volumes. And we're going to start at the center and work our way out to x equals 2. So hopefully you can see that all of the little uh, cylindrical shells, starting with a tiny one way down here, and a little t starting with little tiny cylinders like that and gradually getting bigger and gradually working our way out. Hopefully you can see that the sum of all of those would be the sum of the entire volume formed from rotating this area around the y-axis. So in other words, we're going to be starting at 0 and going out to 2. So specifically, this is going to be the integral from 0 to 2 of dv. And we just need to know what this dv is. So we need to think about this particular shell right here and figure out how to express its volume mathematically. So let's take this shell and unroll it and it looks like this. Remember this would this would happen we would get a shape something like this if we took this shell and sliced it and then spread the parts spread the um, spread the pieces apart and unrolled that shell and we get a, a rectangular slab something like this and this top edge here comes from the circumference of the shell. And the, the height of the cylindrical shell there is the height here. And then the thickness, the thickness of the cylindrical shell is our dx right here. So let's write those in. This is going to be 2 pi times the radius, and the radius is x. See here on our original picture, if this is the point x, y, right there, then the radius right there is the x coordinate. The height of the shell right here is going to be y. And you can see that on the original picture here. Again, look at this point x, y. The height right there is y. And then the thickness of the shell is dx. So we'll draw that in. This, um, this thickness right here is dx. So the volume dv is just going to be 2 pi x times y times dx. And see this y here? We need this in terms of x. I'll write that down. We need that y in terms of x because we have a, a dx right here 
So all of this needs to be a function of x so we can integrate it. And we know y in terms of x. We know that y is equal to 3 sine x. If you look back at the original curve here, that's this curve right here, y equals 3 sine x. So whatever point, whatever that x, y point is, we know the y value is 3 times the sine of x. So I can write dv is equal to 2 pi x times 3 sine x times dx. And I need to integrate that from 0 to 2. So you can see my constants here. I've got a 2 pi times a 3. So I'm going to write the volume is the integral. Well, I'm going to bring the constants out front. The volume is uh, 6 pi times the integral from 0 to 2 of everything else in here. That's going to be x sine x dx. So we have to integrate this function x sine x and we're just going to do this numerically on the calculator. And here it is. Here's the calculator. Let's uh, make sure we're in radian mode and we are. So let's type this in. We want 6 pi. So I'll just do 6 times pi times and I'll use the fn int. So I hit math 9 fn int and I want to integrate x times the sine of x. So I'll just say x sine x and close parentheses, that one's important. Uh, and we're integrating along the x direction from 0 to 2. So 0, 2 and close parentheses and hit enter and this should give us an answer. 32.83 and that is in fact the correct answer. Uh, so this is approximately equal to 32.83.